Today I'm going to show you guys how to permanently adjust your field of view in Portal 2. I've looked all over the internet and there's no tutorials on how to do it so I'm just going to show everyone. The console command to actually change your field of view is cl underscore fov and then any number which is in degrees. So my personal preference would be 110. As you can see it's changed there. But what happens is, if you restart the map, or change level, you'll see, it resets. The field of view resets to the default value, which is 90 degrees. As you can see, if you type it in, it will say its value, its current value, which is 90, which is not what I entered, so it's reset. Now to prevent this, you have to bind it to your W key or whichever key on your keyboard that you move forward with so for my my keyboard I use W so first you do your forward you want to make sure you can still move forward and then do CL underscore and your desired field of view mine would be 110 degrees so when you press W it changes and if you were to restart the level, it would also automatically change to your desired FOV as you press W to move forward anyway. Now additionally, you can change your portal gun offset value, which makes the portal gun appear further away or closer. And people have been complaining in Portal 2 that the portal gun is too close to the player, and they preferred it how it was in Portal 1. So I'm going to show you how to make it look different to your liking. You just type in view model offset underscore offset underscore y and then I think 6 makes it look quite far away. I quite like that. But you can change this to any value what you want. So I'll just, for example you can have some ridiculous like all the way out I wouldn't re recommend doing that because as you can see the the model is missing the back end of it now for all you left-handed players and you're wondering how can you put your portal gun on the left side as if you're holding it with your left hand well here's how you just type in view model underscore offset underscore x and then negative 14. As you can see, it's on the left side. It looks a bit weird, but if you prefer that, then by all means do it. And that will stay permanent. You don't have to bind that to your W key or anything. So have fun. I think that's the end of my video. Yep, have fun with that.